came here today to Valley Forge National Park on Christmas Eve 2008 pay honor and tribute to our forefathers, the great patriots who camped here over that brutal winter in 1777. It's in their spirit that we're here today. Thinking back on the sacrifices that they made so we could be here today. So we could be free. We were inspired to come here today to Valley Forge National Park by a fellow patriot, Collins Bailey. I received an email for him, from him, and I would like to read you a portion of that email regarding the Continental Army. December 19. Driven into Pennsylvania by the British, the Continental Army set up camp at Valley Forge December 19, 1777, just 25 miles from British-occupied Philadelphia. Lacking food and supplies, soldiers died at the rate of 12 per day. Of 11,000 soldiers, 2,500 died of cold, hunger, and disease. A committee from Congress reported feet and legs froze till they became black, and it was often necessary to amputate them. Soldiers were there from every state in the new Union, some as young as 12, others as old as 60. And though most were white, some were African American and American Indians. Quaker farmer Isaac Potts observed General Washington kneeling in prayer in the snow. Hessian Major Carl Leopold Bruinmeister noted the only thing that kept the American army from disintegrating was their spirit of liberty. In a letter written to John Bannister, Washington recorded, to see men without clothes to cover their nakedness, without blankets to lay on, without shoes by which their marches might be traced by the blood from their feet, and at Christmas taking up their quarters within a day's march of the enemy is a mark of patience and obedience, which in my opinion can scarce be paralleled. And here in this place of sacrifice, in this veil of humiliation, in this valley of the shadow of that death, out of which the life of America rose, regenerate and free, let us believe with an abiding faith that to them union will seem as dear and liberty as sweet and progress as glorious as they were to our fathers and are to you and me. And that the institutions which have made us happy preserved by the virtue of our children, shall bless the remotest generation of the time to come. Henry Armit Brown.
To all of our patriots, past, present, and future, we have come here to express our gratitude, understanding, and appreciation, but especially to those in the Continental Army who bravely marched on for liberty, who fought and died for liberty, some here on this very ground. We are once again faced with historic times. We come here today to acknowledge and to thank you and to symbolize that we understand what tyranny is and how you fought and died so that our republic could be free. Please know that your efforts and lives will not have been in vain. Let it not be said that no one cared, that no one objected, once it is realized that our liberties and wealth are in jeopardy. Ron Paul. To compel a man to furnish funds for the propagation of ideas he disbelieves and abhors is sinful and tyrannical. Thomas Jefferson. God bless each and every soul of our patriots, and God help each and every one of us today. Our prayer is for liberty. And I end with a quote from George Washington. Liberty, when it begins to take root, is a plant of rapid growth. The freedom of speech is taken away. Then dumb and silent, we may be led like sheep to the slaughter. George Washington.